Hi guys, just bringing you up to snuff with me, I guess. Having a cup of, having a Sunday cup cup of coffee, okay? I need this stuff. Boy. Yeah. So that's where I'm at. I was yipping and yapping about that health fair. It was only fair. They invited me in. They didn't know who they invited in. But yesterday, I want to show you something. I kind of was working on this little project here. I'm going down into the Kiva. This is a Kiva, okay? And uh, Grandma Anna made this floor very nice. Hello, Zanna. Is it okay that I come into your Kiva? Huh? Yes or no? Huh? No. Oh, she don't want me down here. She's telling me no, okay? Anyways, I painted this floor. Okay, you're allowed to tell me no. Just remember, I'm allowed to tell you no, too. So we were just cleaning up and uh, kind of just doing a nice little thing. I'm not going to get her in the video. She don't want that. So I'm going to preserve her privacy for the Pollock Mana. Say, her husband made this kachina down. I was saying to her yesterday, she's got to be a brave butter butterfly grandma. So Dave Preston, her husband from Walpi Village. Hold on, let me go like this. He carved this little kachina. And uh, her granddaughter, Tristan Joy Nelson, helped to color the, the wings as well with Grandpa. And I know because I was with, the, with them when he carved this doll. And that's how, uh, I'm going to say, we ended up with it. Her hair is a little messed up. When you live out in the desert, folks, uh, critters can sneak into your home and do some damage. So, and I don't care how much homeowner's insurance you have. Sometimes it just doesn't pay. Uh, these corrupt insurance companies know what time and what they're up to. But uh, when I came home to look for a missing family here, member here in corrupt Cleveland, Ohio, and I went back home... Uh, when I opened my mobile home door, I about died. I All I did was open my door and I shut it. <laughs> I sh opened my door and I shut it because the way that I had left my home was not the way that I found it. Um, and it just, it took courage. It took me like four weeks to get into that home. I was devastated, but uh, humbly, but... It was no big deal because I realized... What I realized with my real eyes is... Uh, Everybody has to go through that kind of stuff, you know, when you live out in the desert. The struggle's so real, you know, and people travel for miles and miles to get to work. And, you know, they have to leave their um, their sacred sites, is what I want to say. Their sacred homes and stuff. So, um, I respect I respect all the, the energy that was shown to me um, and the experiences that I've had thus far. So, that's where I'm at. But um, yesterday's little project here was painting this floor in the kiva. So we got a nice little piece of carpet we're going to put down. And that's where we're at. But Grandma Zanna is resting. And we're going to leave her alone because she said no. But uh, I can show this. Her little chair here. Her big book. Little pretty light. And then I put the pillow there to watch over her. The kachinas. So there we go. All right, and she's resting. So, that's what we got going on. I'm going to get off this YouTube video, folks. I'm glad the floor dried. I'm glad we're kind of getting organized here. And that's that. Peace out on the planet, people.